Hej, jag hör att det händer grejer hemma hos Tom Sidek i hans garage i Lilledal med bilbygget The Tison. Där tänkte jag att det måste jag kolla in. Hey! Hi Tom, I heard you made some progress on the T-Sun. Yeah, welcome, come on in and uh, check it out. Alright, thank you. Alright, so we're back, back in the garage, so just gonna go over a little bit what we've done since um, we last spoke or I last uh, did a little video update. Uh, last time uh, we were at basically just splitting the car in half and that's where we got to. So since then, yeah, I was a little bit false as always uh, because uh, I thought in two months we'll be able to start to do this step. But sure enough, life happens. Um, what we had to do directly after is you can see like an inner frame build. So we had to stabilize both halves so that they're exactly within the correct millimeters to be the right width. And so that we could start to weld the roof. And, and that was the biggest challenge um, is to weld the roof and have it be nice and flat and, and evenly rounded. Um, and uh, because of that, we had to create these ribs there's uh, four extra ribs in the roof. And, uh, and then um, Magnus Proust came from Oberst Glass and uh, actually filled it in with uh, that windshield type glue, basically stabilized everything like a nice tight drum. Um, so that was a big project to get the body ready and uh, also had to rebuild the windshield uh, area of course just because when you widen it 27 centimeters it's a, a lot but anyway that is all done and ready so after finishing the body uh, and getting it all ready to be put on the Tesla then obviously we had to um, uh, we needed to create this lift uh, winch system so OIS was awesome again uh, they're pulling through in many ways and they got this rail built for this Limtre Balk and came and we put the whole thing up and then we did a double winch system on either side so we can really fine tune the way we drop the Amazon down. And now uh, once that was built and in place, um, then we took and took the battery box out of the Tesla and actually started uh, just yesterday, we finally started on cutting the actual Tesla up so that we could start to fit the Tesla to the Amazon, Amazon to the Tesla. So um, here's how the winch system works is that basically, I mean, it's an eight meter rail. We can move the car aside when we need to work on the Tesla and then we roll it in place like this. About there. And then we start to drop it down. we can move it to exactly line up the points that we need to line up to get uh, 
to start to really fit it in place. So this is as low as the car goes now. And uh, yeah, and so I can continue on just a little bit. Next piece is actually removing, cleaning this up, cutting this away, cleaning that up and cleaning the A-pillar up. I've already done the dash here so that we could start to make all the contact points start to make them fit perfectly together. So that's been uh, the last three months of work. All right, timelines. Everybody's always asking me about timelines. Um, so the next timeline for us is actually February 7th, 8th to the 9th, which is the eCar Expo in Stockholm. So if you guys wanna come check out the project, uh, we're gonna have this whole thing that you see here. Uh, the Tizon is going to be in the eCar Expo, um, right close to the Tesla stand. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so the big push for us is to get this body and get it all tied up so it's totally sitting. The marriage is done, uh, so to speak, and so that we'll be able to actually put the battery box back on, interior, throw the interior in, and drive into the Expo. Um, it'll be driving. We'll put the front doors on. We can actually put the rear doors on, but they're not gonna close because they're nine centimeters short. But uh, just to give you an idea of where the project is at and see it in live, it'll be, I think, fun. It's at the Friends Arena. So yeah, the weekend, February 7th to the 9th. So that's where we'll be, uh, guys uh, from Aya's Industries, and we'll have a lot of pictures there, and you can just see the project and crawl all inside and out of it.